Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here with part two of the garden journal. I wanted to share with you what I found in my craft room, but let's say hi and hugs first. So hi and hugs to Angel Rose, Anita, Maria, and Joni's journals. Thanks so much for watching and for your kind comments and everything. And yeah, so I, um, had this thought like before I went to sleep last night I was like where are my little plant cards you know I had these cards that um I like to put in these kind of journals and I'm like where are they and I'm like ding 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 I have a project box that says garden on it hello so I had a few things in here so um this big old envelope I made from um some wrapping paper I've got sacks I've got more of the more of the cards bigger different size cards so it was like oh yeah I've got those and there's a bunch of pages in here too so um I can use those when we get to that besides taking some out of the books that I grabbed so I did that um get it up here and then the other thing I did is I was going through my ephemera box and found um, some ephemera a whole bunch of ephemera that will work in this journal plus did I show you this yesterday I have this big um, thing of postcards of flowers they're awesome I kind of forgot about those too they were over on my shelf you know so fun to go shopping in your own room <laughs> so anyways we have those but I want to continue today on making um, making pages out of the scrapbooking paper because I would like to have one in each section and we only have three sections done so far so we have more to go so we'll start on this section and um, I am going to get out my tray here and then which ones of the, I have an idea. This one would, could be cool for this. So, okay, perfect. Right on top. So let me move the book over and get out our cutter and stuff so I um I had the thought I'd like to make you know let me see if I can grab one of those um remember these pockets that we made I was thinking we could make like a big one and it could be it could be its own you know its own page so that was that was my thought so let's get you lined up a little paper and get this off of there. Um, okay, so I think what I want to do is go ahead and just cut it down. Let's see. Let's cut, let's cut the height first. I have still have my pencil over here. Nope. So you guys, I I have a sore back today, and so if I groan at any point during the video, you'll know what it is. But, oh, it cracked me up because one of my friends had said, um, <clears throat> when you're young, you hurt yourself skiing or riding a bike or, you know, jumping over something. And when you're old, you hurt yourself sleeping. <laughs> And that, that is truly the case. Oh gosh, I got up or woke up this morning and thought, oh, my back. So I must have slept weird. I don't know. But anyway, oh, let's see. I'm going to need that some more. So I was thinking of just taking like this one, having it, maybe this one. I like the flower on that one better. So, um, I'm going to cut this one in half too, and it is about 
nine and a half. So four and three quarters approximately, I think. And so which one of these do I like better? I like this one, I think. So I'm going to take this one this way and it's going to be a pocket like that. Okay. So, yeah. So I have that. Have you ever used the salon paws? They're really great. Um, they're just sticky and they're, you know, I don't know what's in them, but they are pain relievers really. And so I usually, I only use those at night. But today I was like, oh boy, if I'm going to sit in my chair and craft, I'm going to have to have something. <laughs> Something's got to give here. Yeah, so I'm thinking I'll put those on like so. That'll be kind of a cool pocket. And then we can do something back there at some point too. Okay, that's what we're going to do first. Let's see, so I want you approximately at the end of that little thing there. Um, so yeah, I let the shower run on it and um, I think that helped some too. I'm sure just moving, stretched a little bit, you know, just trying <laughs> Oh, goodness, just trying to get myself so I can function today. Oh, my goodness, Gail. Okay. This is going to be a fun page, I think. I like that. I, I'm glad I had this idea to make big old one. Okay. lined up all right so that those pockets will be great okay so we want to do our little do this where is that I picked up a bit because I wanted to go through my ephemera um, see what I could use for this and um, let's see, this will air on Tuesday. So I um, also wanted to get a big bundle of ephemera ready for the surprise giveaway. Uh-oh, there we go. Probably still... The wet wet glue or the glue still wet probably a little bit okay okay isn't that cute so ooh, I'll put that in here and it's gonna be a bit shorter but that's okay uh, I mean only a little bit so, okay, so we're on to this one. Um, gosh, what else was I thinking? Of course, now any ideas I had went, uh, have gone out of my brain. Um, let's see. Well, let's look at the paper and see what it tells us. And... See here. Oh, we still have this one. This purple one. I'd like to save one of these. I have a purple, um, a purple journal coming up that I'm going to make uh, with Hello Susan's um, lavender bee kit, and I thought this would be pretty in that. So I'd like to save one of those, but I can use one too. I love this one. Oh, I know. 
I know, and this one would be perfect. So, um, you know what I think I'm going to do with this is I am going to go in half with this because it fits well. It's a little short, but um, that way I have two pages out of a out of a piece if I, you know if I don't need the other half so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go halfies on this at six there we go yes that's good because we can use that that's another page actually you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make them I'm going to just make them the same and we'll just spread them out in the book a little bit. How's that? Okay, so I need my, for this one, I'm going to need my scoreboard because that will help. Okay, let's see. I'll be folding this way. So we want to do on this side and... We want to go right about there. So, let's see. That lines up. It does. Okay, two and a half. That's where I'm folding this, two and a half. Okay, so we'll do this one too. Yeah, might as well just do a couple that are the same. And... All righty. This one's easy peasy and this double-sided paper is so great for it so we scored at two and a half and we're just gonna flip this up and make a pocket like that um, where's my other bone folder thank goodness my chair swivels <laughs> my back wouldn't take it today oh my goodness Now we could we could have sewn the uh, the last one we did we could sew around you know and I may do that but I'll do that off camera so uh, do the sewing around and that kind of stuff okay we'll just get these ready to go I think what I might do is put one one way and one the other you know like put the holes on this side on this one and on this side on this one I think that's what I'm gonna do yeah and then they'll have the holes already in them for sewing so I'm just gonna have to move the holes up slightly that's what I'm gonna need to do yeah okay we can do that you know put the holes just up a little bit so that I have room to sew that side kind of like that okay okay and I think I have an idea for one of the other pages so Okay, the ideas are starting to come back to me. I was definitely thinking about this journal. Um, Cause I woke up super early, oh my gosh. Um, actually, Mike kind of woke me up today. 5.15, which is when he gets up. I usually get up like three hours later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah not today um but I just laid there and I don't know if that's what's wrong with my back I don't know okay okay those are great so put let's see which one do we want we can kind of look and see I think I like the green one better here the green side and um, 
and then we can put a pocket or whatever on there too. Okay, so that's in number four. Let's go to like 12 maybe. There, that one doesn't have any patterns, so this will go better. Yeah, don't you think? And then, okay, so we're on to number five here. And those are in a bit. Let's just make sure they're not gonna they're not gonna bind. I don't think so. Nope, they're okay. Good. Good, good. Okay, um, let's look at the piece of paper that has the journaling cards on it. Not, not that one, but oh yeah, and I have this cute one. Okay, I was thinking about this one. Because I really only need, I mean, I can use the journaling cards, but I only need one sheet of those, really. I don't need two because I have lots of other stuff to put in this. I found, well, you know, there's just, I've, I've made a lot of different, um, you know, a lot of different flower themed ephemera. So it's kind of not surprising. There was quite a bit in my ephemera that I could use. Okay, what I'm thinking is, oh, and then these, okay, I'm going to cut these this way, I don't know, I'm experimenting here, so we'll see if it turns out like I want it to. If I want that as hmm, <laughs> get it back out again. I'm I was thinking about having it like trifold, which I don't know that it's going to do, you know, at the right places and be able to open. And then I was thinking, what about having it kind of almost like a flip out? would like this to go like this. That's what I would like. Okay, so it's 12. Let me get out my scoreboard for a second. Okay, it's 12. Okay, let me see if I can do this. So this one, I want to have it be shorter. So I'm gonna try and go like right up to the pattern. Like that. And then if I get this one, oh, it's kind of right to the middle at four. That's at eight, so this I need to go over a little bit. So I want to be right on the pattern there. I don't know, I'm gonna see if this works. And it did! Good job, Gail. 
just had to think it through that um that you know so this this particular panel would be shorter so it wouldn't bind up when we fold it okay so i'm not super attached to that let me look at, over here at what i have in my oh my gosh that's about the exact right size Okay, so what I'm thinking is, do I want that? How much of that will be off? I think I want this end off. Okay, so what I'm thinking, where's my skizzers? There they are. Let's see, that opens that way. So what I'm thinking of doing is going ahead and gluing that on there. And this is going to be where I punch my holes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, this one's taken more brain power than I think I'm capable of. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so we're going to just line this up on this line. Okay. Um, I think this is going to work. Okay, so it's going to look like this. And then... I think I'll maybe, do I want it at the top or the bottom? I think, I think I want it at the bottom. So. Okay. So there is that, and then it opens up. I mean, you'd probably you'd take it out if you were gonna write on that, but but then all the writing sides are accessible because you know if you go over here, you can write there. Okay, well let's let's do our best not to have to think that hard again. <laughs> Need to stay down. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's fun. That's different. Okay. Let's see. What do we have for over here? We have this one turquoise and pink piece. It's so pretty. So I love that. We haven't used this. Haven't used this haven't used this. We still have a lot we haven't used yet. And this one. We've used this, used this, used not, well that's what we're going to use. Okay. Oh, and then there's this one. Oh, no, we did, we used that. Okay. And what about these? What can we do with these? Okay, so these are the papers we haven't used yet. <clears throat> I 
I think I want to do a couple that are just left as they are because you know just as like a page because I'll want to put some other things on on these okay so let's do that one and one I don't know we'll we'll check that one out in a minute and that one's so adorable Maybe we'll just do a fold up on that one too. Okay, let's just do these as, ow. <laughs> oh, goodness, goodness. Yeah, I can't, I, I can't believe I strained a muscle because I don't do anything with Strain a muscle. It had to be how I slept last night. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so we're just going to cut this in half at six. And then um, we'll decide on the second one. Ow. It's going up to the floor. is just, uh, it's not working for me today. <laughs> I mean, usually I just have my stuff on the floor and it works just great but today not so much okay a little scrappy there um and then i'm gonna put this on the other side so that yeah that feels better watched an old movie last night um older movie we'd seen it before but neither one of us could remember what happened so we watched it again called no escape and it had um pierce brosnan and oh what's that guy's name owen wilson and um it was non-stop action that's what it is Okay, so for instance, the reason why I want to do that is so that like on this side, like I could put that sack on there, you know, so I want to have some where the pages are such that I can use some of the ephemera that I pulled out. So let's do this like this and that was what we did a flip out did the pocket okay um so i think here we're going to use the one with the little girl and um I am going to just flip up a pocket because then the little girl will be showing. So let's do that. Gosh, I'm having trouble lining this one up. There we go. Okay. And in half at six. Okay, and what did I do? Two and a half, didn't I? I think. On the scoreboard, I think that's right. On the bottom, two and a half. See, and then that will leave that little girl. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Oh, I think this little pocket with some lace would be pretty, wouldn't it? You know what? I might. Oh, 
and then if I sew, I need to go up a little bit, don't I, on that one. Yeah, I think it needs sewing. So we'll go up a little bit. A lot of punching on this in this project sorry about that guys it's just it's just part of it okay oh I'm gonna go ahead and glue it it'll be dry by the time I sew this And then if I decide not to sew, it's already glued too, right? But I think I will. I think that just adds adds to it, you know? I have a ton of sewing to do. I have all those ephemera pieces made last Saturday and Sunday, so I have a lot of sewing to do. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Okay, well, let's figure out something... Um, I guess I can just leave that over there like that. Um, let's figure out something for the purple paper. For this one. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I mean, it's just very plain, which is great. So, you know, we can do pockets. Or something on it. Hmm. Well, we know we want the strip off, but thinking about doing this one as another um, flip out. Um, let me, let me grab that other flip out so, just so I can use the measurements, you know. Where are you? There you are. This one. Okay. So, I cut it down and then, okay. So we're going to just cut it the height that it's supposed to be. Okay. Okay. So we've got that. Then... Um, yeah, because I just feel like you, you then get more kind of, get more real estate flips out. Okay, so where did I, okay, right there. Well, I can tell I'm going to have to get up and moving more than normal today. Sitting in my chair is hurting me. That didn't work. Oh, I cut it off. That's right. Okay. Well, we can do that. Not to 
to worry. Not to worry. We've we've got this, peeps. We've got this. So this is going to be the only purple page in there because I really do. Oops. I really do want to keep one of these for the other journal. Oh. I actually. I actually have a full set of um, graphic 45 paper that I'm gonna put in with my D stash. I don't know when I'm gonna get that done. I was kind of hoping I'd get it done today, tomorrow, but I don't know. I don't know with my affliction if I'm going to. remember which number we were on. Apparently eight, maybe. Yep. Okay. So, well, let's just... I won't be sewing around this one because I just don't want to. Because <laughs> I don't know. I could go around the whole edge, I suppose, but I don't know. I think just fine like it is then we'll put some sort of something fun on it and this one's um kind of folding the other way no it's not it's the same as the other one because i measured it that way that's right okay that one's done Let's do this and um, maybe do something with this one. Hmm. Let's see, it's just going to be part of the cards. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. It's kind of fun that the paper ends up kind of informing what you do too, you know, gives you other, gives you other ideas. Okay. I am going to go with the paper. So I'm going to cut this. Let's see how far down. Yeah. So I'm going to cut this right here so that we have this whole panel as a little extra. And then I'm going to cut here. I don't know if I want another one, but I'm just going to put a smaller piece in because that'll be, and then it'll be fun to put something behind it. Excuse me, I had an itch on my eyeball. Okay. Let's see how we, oh good. So I'm going to kind of go from the top like so. just gonna just gonna be like this and then if we have something pretty behind it you know like a page um, like this or something you know that'd be pretty let's do that let's just make this a page because I like that okay that's what we'll do Okay, so this needs to be how tall? 
You know, it could make a pocket. Yeah, let's do that. Why not, right? Okay. Never mind. No cut. Let's just score at two and a half on the bottom. Okay. And once again, I'm going to probably sew. So we'll go up from the bottom a bit. Like that. Okay. So this spot actually kind of gets two, but the one is is just small. So and we can always afterward go back and like I could cut this or something and we could slip that in one of the spots, you know. Oh, shoot. And you knew it, too. I put it on the wrong side. Doggone it. I wanted it there. Okay, well, this is going to go back here somewhere. And we'll use a different piece. Okay, so what's this piece like? That's cute. I'm going to do the same thing, except try to do the right side this time. Should I do? Nope, that will be upside down. Okay. Oh, gosh. It's tough working with an amateur. <laughs> like that but we're going to punch this side okay except we want it up a little bit so I can sew it right Probably need to empty my hole punch, don't I? Okay. There, that worked. <laughs> Jeez. The nice thing, too, is if you get it put together and you go, oh, I've got those two paper pages pretty close together, you can always just open it up and switch them around. Okay. That was harder than it needed to be, but on the other hand, we've got another pocket done. Okay, so what haven't we done for a bit? We haven't done one of those for a bit. So... We're at number 10. Let's see what we have that would be good on this side. This, we have this. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, 45 minutes already? Are you kidding me? Okay. Um, yeah, so this one, we'll put a pocket on that. Okay. It's getting heavy. The book is getting heavy because I have all that scrap of paper in there. 
Okay, so this one, get this off of there. And then I'm gonna, I am going to do it in half again. I'm fine, I, I like that to where I can get twice as much out of a sheet. Unless, of course, we're doing the flip out thing. Okay, so there's that. Then we need to see how tall to make it. Okay. And then we'll decide which. Um, I think I'd like this. Yeah, I'm going to do this side this time. Um, oops, I almost put that on the owie back side. Okay, let's see which one of these we like better. So there's that one, which is pretty, pretty gorgeous. And this one, I like this one better. Okay, so we're going to cut it the same height. Okay, and I'm going to do a little thumb hole on this side, Not right there, yeah. Okay, and then we'll, we'll punch here, or, yeah, yeah, I think so, that's, that'll be fun. The other one is on this side and the holes are here, but just for variety, we'll do this. Okay. Gosh, that's pretty too, but I gotta go with that one. Okay. Here. Oops. There. Good, good. And put this. And then this side will be a good side for um, a pre made ephemera pocket or something. taking us a while to do this, isn't it? As I was saying yesterday, it does take a while to do these kind of journals. <clears throat> but we'll be on to, we'll be on to doing some um, magazine pages and stuff next. Book, I mean book. Okay, we did that one. Okay, we need one here. Um, what did we do on our second one here? Oh, that was the flip out. Oh yeah, and then we did the envelope, or the just the pocket. That takes a whole piece too. And then what do we have left? We have one there. We have one there, so one, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have half a dozen of them left. Holy buckets. Let's do, maybe, should we do another one of these? How far back was that? Pretty far back. Okay, let's do another one of those. That was a good one. That's just, need the scoreboard for that. So, I mean, it wouldn't be the end of the world if we didn't, if a few of the spaces didn't have 
the um, scrapbook paper either. Let's see, what do I want? I want this to be the front. So this is the one that needs to be kind of right to the edge here. And then this one needs to be to the edge on the other side, this one. Okay. if we've got a sheet of paper that we can use as its little, I don't know, it's not exactly a hinge, is it? It's a extension is what it is. Okay, so we have this piece that we just cut off. It is just the right size. Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay, so do, do we like that? Or do we like that? I think I like that better. Okay, so maybe we'll go. I think I'll go just to that line. Okay. So I hope whatever paper you're working with is you're being able to kind of do similar things. Okay. My eyes to focus here. snippet there that needed to even up kind of okay and then let's see um, last time we had it at the bottom so let's put it at the top this time okay this. I'm having trouble holding it. That's what's great about these templates though. You could put it in the middle or the bottom or the top but you just have to line it up with the holes and you're good to go. Okay so that's going to be the one in number 11 up here at the top. And I think I'll do something right there, some kind of trim or or something. Okay. Okay, let's check the time. Oh, we are getting there. So I think since we're at a good stopping point, we might stop there for today. Um, and then... We will, we will carry on. Um, I think, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to do anything without you, so I'm not going to. We'll just wait. We'll just do some more tomorrow. I really like, where is it? Not that one. I like them all, but I really like this with it layered like that. That's cute. That makes me happy. And then that cute pocket on that side. Then we need to look at these and see what we need to do on these. Because, um, you know, they can be decorated up a bit too. Because, you, you know, I mean, we're not using this with this index or anything like that. So, um, and some of them have cool things, but, you know, you a pocket can go there. So... We'll have to see what all we have. You know, the other thing, hang on one second. Before we go, you know, I made, 
these pockets and granted it's a different paper but I was thinking of this oh you know what I was thinking of doing was a belly band so do we have anything that goes with this paper as far as see this was going to be a belly band that looks kind of good though doesn't it let's do that one quick what we'll do sometimes it's good to just take a minute too and think you know <laughs> um because that was the other thing i thought of i had done those um had done those pieces in my my last little session of ephemera making or scrap dusting more so Okay, oh, and then this one also needs to be the right. What? Well, that was meant to be. So funny. Yeah, so we'll just put this in the middle. Let's see, where are we? We are on 12. No, 12 has one. We are on 13. Lucky number 13. See, we can put something over that because that's not that cute. Okay. Let me just set this over here for a second whilst we work on this. And then um, I think I want to put like a lace or something down there. But yeah, we'll put a belly band. We haven't done that yet. always hard on two-sided paper because you have to give up one side sometimes. Okay. Okay. Big old thick belly band, but that's great. Okay, and then we'll up the holes in that then we'll be done for the day I'm not gonna sew around this I'm just gonna leave this one okay and then I'll just be I'll just be letting this sit in its pile of all of its goodies um, through the weekend because this is my last video for the week so we have one two three four five six seven actually gosh I feel like we did so many so it's so crazy that we have that many left to go but we do so anyway thank you for crafting with me we will just continue on this journey of this little journal together and we will just see you in the next video have a grateful day everyone bye bye